Hello, this is Scott Bocciano from telecoms.com at Mobile World Congress 2019. And I'm talking to Ori from Sedona. Hi. So, Ori, why don't you start by giving us a quick introduction to your company? Of course. So, Sedona is a company that specializes in automation of large-scale service provider networks. Uh, we understand the network all the way from the fiber down in the ground, through the optical layer, the IP layer, and then up to the uh, services that run on top of, uh, of that network. And using our technology, we can then provide the service provider insights about the network. They understand the net network better, and more importantly, automate uh, the network, automate provisioning of services, automate uh, the optimization of the, the network. Okay, and can you tell us a little bit more about why that's a really important thing right now, why that technology is really useful? Yep. So service providers are in, uh, sev in severe competition with, between each other and also with all the over-the-top uh, providers who provide uh, SD1 solutions. Um, and in this uh, game, they have to differentiate. And what we allow these service providers to do is use their own assets, the understanding of their own assets, to differentiate against over-the-top guys who do not understand the network and against other service providers. We also allow them to optimize the network and reduce the cost of the network, operational cost and capital cost, to have a more efficient uh, operation. Okay. Now, we're talking here at Mobile Congress and we're on the Vodafone booth. Can you tell me why we're talking? in the Vodafone booth. Yes, absolutely. This is very exciting for us. Uh, so uh, Vodafone has selected us uh, to become the uh, hierarchical controller for, for their network. And to understand that, I have to explain a little bit about the architecture. Uh, the way that Vodafone uh, sees the architecture, and indeed many other service providers are following them, is that the network is controlled through controllers that different vendors provide. Cisco, Huawei, Nokia, the different vendors of the network. At the very top, you have service orchestrators who's, who orchestrate services across the entire network. And these service orchestrators understand services very well, but they don't understand the network. Right. You need a, a piece between the uh, domain controllers of the vendors and the service orchestrator on top that puts the entire network together into one unified uh, element, abstracts the uh, view, so the orchestrator doesn't have to understand network details to be able to provide accurate and high quality uh, services. And that's where we come in. And Vodafone selected us for that piece in the network uh, to basically unify their different networks in the different opcos. Uh. Cool. And um, I understand that you're um, sort of demoing some of this technology uh, on the booth. Can you talk us through a little bit more about what you're demonstrating here? Okay, this is a demonstration of Sedona's NetFusion product. And specifically, we're showing how we can assure and uh, provide services that are highly available. Uh, let's look at the service provider network. It's got an IP layer, an optical layer, and, and uh, the fibers in the ground. Let's focus on the uh, part of the network that's uh, uh, Spain between Madrid and Barcelona. Uh, there's a company, Acme Finance, who has a service that's highly available. Let's see how that service is uh, shown to the operations team uh, in the uh, dashboard. So here you can see a dashboard with uh, different services. Uh, you can see that the service health generally uh, is uh, normal, network health is fine, and you can see some other KPIs of the network, as well as what's going on in the IP layer and optical layer. Let's specifically look at our service from Madrid to Barcelona. Uh, we can see the traffic of the service, the endpoints, uh, whether it's meeting its current uh, SLA, and we can also see that service on the map, and we can see that it's diversely routed, there's a working path from Madrid to Barcelona, and another diverse path, down to the fiber layer uh, that goes to a different part of, uh, of Spain. Okay. Now let's see what, uh, what happens when a failure is starting to happen in the network. So we'll run a simulation of, of a failure using this uh, system here. And uh, the simulation is going to increase the error rate on one of the optical links. The error rate is going up and through predictive analysis, we, we realize that uh, in a while, that uh, link is going to uh, get into a dangerous zone where it's going to start losing traffic. Specifically, we predict that in 18 hours, we're going to start uh, losing traffic. We can see that the service is now, uh, there's a warning next to it, because that particular service is going to uh, be affected by that uh, uh, loss of uh, fiber or fiber cut. Now what we're trying to do is move that service away from the link that is going to fail, and we identify that that service is going to be at a low point in three hours. Uh, which means that it will be a good time to move it away from, from the link without having a traffic hit. We schedule the reroute, and uh, soon enough, when uh, the, the time comes, we complete the reroute of the, uh, of the service. Let's now look at the map and see what happens. 
and we can see that on the map, the service that used to go over this path that's now colored yellow goes now over the north of Spain. The yellow path means that that path is in warning state and therefore it's going to be avoided when we're creating new services. And uh, this uh, has been done in a, in a hitless manner. Uh, finally, let's, let's show how we create a new service between those uh, two endpoints and see what happens uh, with that new service. So we're, we're creating a new service. Uh, uh, let's call it service ABC uh, uh, of customer uh, YZ. And this is going to be an E-line service. We can create with our system layer 3 VPN service, OTN services, as well as E-line services. And it's in fact the only system that allows you to create services at all layers. Um, okay, and we can uh, uh, control a lot of parameters which I'm not going to go through, but at the end, uh, what you can do is uh, simply click next and uh, pick the endpoints of that service. So let's uh, uh, look for an endpoint um, in Madrid. Okay, this endpoint. Let's add another endpoint in Barcelona. And now I'm ready to provision the service. Uh, when I click next, I'm going to start, the system starts computing a path that's optimal end-to-end -end in the network for that particular service with a specific service requirement. Uh, this path is computed and here is the path that was found by the system. It's got some details about the working path and the uh, uh, secondary path. And when I click deploy, the system talks to the controllers uh, of the different vendors, different IP uh, vendors, optical vendors, to actually provision the service. And the service, as you can see, has appeared now in the uh, system. Let's click the service to see uh, some details about it. We see that it has uh, low latency as was required. And you can also look at the service on the map and see that this service as well was provisioned over two diverse paths that avoid the yellow link because we're trying to avoid the link that, uh, that uh, uh, might cause trouble in the future. And that completes the uh, demo.